Hello, Xavier here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Modern Adventure. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, I did a lot of things out of, you know, not, you know, like, besides making a video. So, first thing I'm going to update you guys on, I've upgraded my mining shaft house. Now, I actually have a mining system down there, but I'll go on that on a different episode because this episode is special this episode i want to start my agriculture first things first i did add a new mod which i shall introduce you guys to today and that's what i'm talking about first let me go eat um i want i i crafted i finally crafted a helmet that's one of the things i did when i was down there i did some mining I still need the head for the dragon armor, and right now I'm currently not wearing any armor, just so I can show you this. If I wear this full set of armor right here, I actually have fire resistant. Um, you guys saw me put this thing down last time, but I need a lapis lazuli, if I said it correctly, hopefully I did. Um, here are all the stuff I currently have that I can grow, so I can grow beetroot, nether warts, seeds, you know, regular stuff. Uh, but I have some really cool, uh, also I've organized my stuff a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Um, but I'm actually going to be taking this suit of armor right here. And I wanted to wait till I um, start the video to make an actual anvil. Because I want to make an anvil so badly. I am going to make one right now. I believe it takes three of these, so I need to make... Three bars like that, is it? Like that? Is it like that? Yeah, there we go. An anvil, okay. Now I want to make an anvil for one and one reason only. I'll put it down right here for now until I can make a. So let me. Let me go. Boom. Okay, so that repairs my helmet. And by the way, you see my levels going down, right? So. Uh, one of the things about enchanting is it, the level actually lets me level up here. Now, I, I, I think I was level 32. Um, you guys just saw it, it went down. So, I will not get any of these levels until I pass 32. So, if I get another level, I won't get any points I can use. It's pretty fair in my mind. Um, so, <clears throat> now, let us check. I don't know how it's lagging right now. So let's check out um, the stuff that I wanted to really show you guys. But first, uh, let's make that sword I wanted to make. So I need some wither bone. I also need some silver ingot, I believe. So let us go. Let us make a dragon bone sword. So I have two bones and a wither bone. So let us go do that. So this is actually one of the strongest swords in the game so far. Yeah, there we go. There we go, alright, and if I want to make it a fire or a lava, I uh, mean fire or lava, fire or snow, I need to get ice dragon blood, so for this I'm gonna need, you know, glass, which I don't have glass at the moment, it's one of the things I am lacking right now, but the cool thing is, let me check out what else I can make with a bone, so with a bone, let's see, I want I want to make a dragon ball bow, it's one of the big things, there's a dragon bone hole, Pickaxe as well. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. And there's even a shovel. But my only interest is, you know, the dragon bone arrow and the sword. Which I will do in a later video. But a dragon horn, that's interesting. Uh, how many dragon bones do I have? I have a good amount, actually. Uh, how much does that take to make? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. I'll do that. I only have literally one piece of, of that because I, I spent all of it on the rails and then these armor stands right here. So I need to... I have like no wood whatsoever besides these right here. And as you can see, I did a ton of them. I, I was left with a bunch and these are the stones I have. Now, let us... I can put these this back if I need it. But I am going to make the horn. Let's do that. There you go. The dragon horn. I don't know what it does right now. And I don't want to summon a dragon by accident. So I'll put that back there. And I'll put these back here as well. I'm going to have to wait till I get more string. I only have one string at the time. 
But yeah. Okay, so this is all the food I have, so I also have to do that. Now, let's go here and check out a net. No? Okay, so how about a B? There you go. A scoop. Oh god, I need more string. Okay, so I need this scoop. Basically, we're gonna be dealing with bees and the hives and actually, you know, getting honey, which is gonna be a really cool thing. I'd like to find out. I'd love to make a honey farm, which is cool. So, a bee house, you know, is made like this. Okay. We have this Minecraft. Okay, cool. But, okay, so a honeycomb. I believe honeycombs you get from the bees. So, bee house, which is cool. So like I said, this is going to be really cool, but I'm going to be right back. I actually need a ton of wood for this. I did not re make research to do this, so first I'd like to go to sleep, though. I guess I remember the name of the mod I had now. It's called the Forestry Mod, um, and it adds a ton of stuff from agriculture. The B1 interested me the most, which is why I'm doing it right now on this episode, because that'd be really cool. I wonder if there is a B armor, uh, that way you won't get stung. I think there is. Um, I remember seeing a ton of mod videos back, like, seven years ago at least, and I believe I've, see I've seen this mod showcased before, so... I kind of remember some things, and I really do not, like, let's say I remember 5% of it, there you go, it's much better. These berries, I have no food, so these are like one of my best sources of food, what is that? Is that why are there squids here? Oh, that's, that's fine with me. Alright, so let's head back and actually make this stuff. I'd like to make a bee house, but I need a hive for that. I need wool. The wool, where's the sheep? This one over there. Jeffrey, you're gonna come and die. Come over here. C tell me why I, g I get out of the house and the first thing I find is a minotaur attack. Okay, cool. Okay, so I need a scoop which helps me pick up the bees and it also um, helps me pick up the hives, I believe. So um, let's do that. First things first, I need to make one of these, and then I gotta make some sticks. Okay, so, it goes like this. That. Yeah, alright, so I got a scoop finally. Okay, so, basically with a scoop, scoop it breaks hive sticker like these, and that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm guessing if you do not break it with this, it'll just break the hive. So, I've actually marked a, two spots where I found bees. So, there's the red hives and white uh, hives. So let's go to the red hives right now. These were on the floor for some reason. Um, so where are they at? I know I saw them. There you go. Now, when you get close to them, you get hit. So, I have to quickly hit them. Okay. And I know there's more hives somewhere. Um, because I saw more than one red one. Look at that. I know I saw more than one. So... Oh, there's another one right here. Okay. I'm not trying to attack you, but you're getting hit by bees there, buddy. Okay, so I have a metal princess, a valiant princess, and a metal drone. Oh, cool. Um, okay, so what I know, I need something called an heavy... Is it called? Um, heavy... No. Uh, look at that. I know there's something that I need for bees that makes helps me make the actual honeycomb. Um, okay, here it is. An apiary is what I'm gonna need. So wood, and how do you do the air, this thing? Impregnated casing. How do you make that? Okay, uh, scented paneling. Alveary. How do you get the impregnation casing though? Everywhere swarmer. Mm. Impregnated casing. How do I get that though? Um, sensitive panels. Okay. Weird. Okay, so, um. 
I was just looking around in this area and then I found it here, you know, right there. So it, it looks like I'm going to be needing this thing right here, the apiary, um, if I can remember correctly. So how do you get the impregnated casing though? Is what I'm saying, you know, thinking Albinary. There's the Albinary fan. I can't make anything without this thing here. But how do you make it? Is my question. And impregnated casing. I have no idea, guys. I'll research it later on. But first, let's focus on actually getting the. Oh, the bees real quick. I know it hurts me. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, look, I got hives. Okay, so I can make the uh, the houses. Nice, nice. Okay, and then there's another one over there. It's like at first I want to get all the red ones, and there's a white one over there that I saw, which was really interesting because oh look, I got some raw mutton. But first I need to eat these berries, and I need some cooked mutton. So I can actually start healing up my energy and let me eat one carrot actually no I'm good okay so by the way since this is a new mod that I recently just added on here uh, I have to go super far from home just so I can get new spawns in since I added this midway uh, because I wanted to really focus on agriculture but there isn't really much in default so I decided to add the forest room on, and here we are. There's a bunch, of, well there's one there, but there's a bunch of pigs up there. Uh, so let me get this one over here, and then I'm going to move over to the white one over there. And then check that out. I know, I hate this. Uh, is there is there no armor that I can sustain damage from bees? Because that would be really good. I don't want to keep on, you know having a chance of dying from getting bees so guys there they come uh, so so far I have some really cool princess one pristine stock pristine stock so I have the unknown genome pristine stock uh, ignite pristine I have no idea what these are but hey look I can I can get one of the uh, metal ones I got the metal ones right here, and then I have one Valiant Princess right there. So I have a lot of metal ones. At least I got four of these, which is good, because that means I can do more than one. Come on. Okay, uh... All the queens are different, as you can see. Alright, so let's move on to the actual white one that I was looking at. I think there's only one over here, and it's in on an actual tree and like the other ones they were on the red the red ones were on the floor i am so gonna die if i'm not careful with these things here okay so let me eat some carrots and actually regenerate some health because these things actually take out a good amount of health now uh, here we go okay i know i know i know i know okay so what did i get uh, i got the forest I need to get this one. Uh, the forest princess and the forest drone, which is really cool. Uh, and what is this up here? This a, what is this? Oh, look, I found some ice area. Right, I did not notice this area earlier. There you go. Ooh, hey, at least I found an ice area. There's an ice dragon here somewhere, right? I want to play more dragons, so. Uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, if I can get up there. Oh, it's an ice village. Nice. Hey, look at that. Okay, well, I'm going to mark this as ice village. So, ice village. And I'm going to put a nice little color like that. Uh, I would look around right now, but I want to focus on agriculture stuff right now. Hence why I brought you guys way over here, and what is that? It's another hive, alright. Well, I think I have enough hives for today, so let's let's head back home. No, 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 not that way. Let's head back home and set some of these up. So, okay. So 
but I have actually not done a little farming house. I would love to. I'll probably do that um, after the video, just so we can actually have a little homing. But um, let me put it this way over here. I'm gonna uh, have it set up right here. This would be really cool. My opinion, right next to the house. Um, so let's just do clear this land out right now. And now let's get on to crafting and the stuff. So. I need an, I mean, a berry, but, um, first things first, I need some wood, and then I'm gonna need some of these flat ones, and then basically like this. So, now I got a bee home, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna set that up over here, and see how that looks. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. And this is the bee house, awesome. Uh, it has no queen, obviously. Uh, um, I want to do... Actually, let me do more than just one of these. Let me put one up here and then one... Another one. I want to do two different types since there's uh, two different types of bees that I have. Um, get this real quick. And I want to make one more of these. Nah, let's make a, uh, let's make, let's make a lot more. Not too much, I just want to make a lot more. Okay, yeah, let's just do four of them. So, um, there we go. That one out, and put that in there, and put that in there, because I know I'm going to need these later on. So, I have three different types, which is good. Because I get to use three different types of variations. So first one, I want to do the forest one right here. And this is how you do it. It's that simple. There's the forest one. Uh, I'm going to move this one a bit more over here. So let's move this one. Uh, let's put this one right here. I want to put this one over here. And this one is going to have the meadow. So, metal drone is going to go right there, and a metal princess is going to be right there. So, now they're going to start working, I believe. If I actually have the first one in here. Okay. So, let's add another drone. You guys are going to start working, right? Uh, no flowers. Hive members are not finding the right flowers. Used to be the Eliza to learn their flower preferences. Okay, so let's clear that out and do the B Eliza. Portable um, analyzer. Okay, so I need bronze ingots. Which, oh goodness, I'm gonna have to find because I don't, you know, like I said, a portable analyzer. How to make one is the question though. How do I make a portable analyzer? Analyzer. So I need sturdy casing. How do you make a sturdy casing? Balancing this. Uh, so I'm gonna have to mine in a new, completely new area in order to get what I need. Take this guy out. And I'm actually gonna go to sleep before something pounces at me. I'll put you right there. Alright, so I'm gonna make a separate. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna make a separate chest just for the beehive and you know bee stuff real quick so I can look for some of that uh, some of those uh, new ores that I need I'm gonna leave these right here for now and I'm gonna go and explore some more oh goodness gracious oh my god I almost fell in there Okay, so I went down to look for some... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I fixed some of the mods because uh, some of them weren't working. But I found what I was looking for. Um, and uh, one of the mods that was not working was the Gru mod. And if it gets dark enough, but then he comes out and attacks me. The very creepy looking guy. I don't know where he is. He's near this area now. Uh, anyways, so I need some torches, which sucks because I left without them. I found some iron ore, which is pretty cool. 
but that is not going to help with my uh, problems right now. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Uh, I'm looking for new ores. Looking for new ores. In the dark. Okay, so I'm going to save that. I went home real quick just so I could make some torches because I literally have nothing right now. Which sucks, but uh, uh, I'm gonna get like some of these sticks that I have as well. Uh, I'm gonna put this in there. In there. Yeah, you do that. Um, so I need to make some of these beauties here. These uh, sticks, so I can actually make it. Okay, good. Nice, nice. Okay, and bam. Okay, so I made some sticks. Now I need some of my coal in order to make some of these torches. I'm gonna need a lot, which is good. I made some. See, I leveled up and I didn't get any, uh, you know, points to use on this because I have to reach the point where I had 34 level. So, yeah. Uh, so, it evens out in some way. Uh, let's see. I need to put you back in there. I have my food. I have my torches, which is good. Um... Let's see. What else do I need? I'm gonna leave my scoop here. I don't know why I brought it. Um, I think that's it. I think that is it. Unless I can bring some other stuff, which I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna bring this. And let me actually put that in there. And then here. And I'm actually gonna make myself some pork chops. I need food, I am so low on it right now. Another reason why I want to do agriculture because I'm low on food. But besides that, dragon skull, this could be awesome to use if I can use it. Um, oh yeah, so this is a mod game. You can put something in it and it's supposed to display it, but as you guys know, it didn't work the last time, so yeah. What was I gonna get? I was gonna get these bronze signets, or indicates name is the ingots. Okay, so bronze you get, of course, by yeah. You get bronze by tin and copper. Okay, how do you get tin? You find tin ore. How do you get copper? You find copper ore. And that's how you make bronze, and with the bronze you can- I have so much mining to do, what the heck? <laughs> this is an agriculture mod, uh, like, episode, I don't wanna have to use anything else, but, you know, I mean, it's for the sake of the agriculture, so I'm still doing the right thing, I'm trying to focus on the agriculture stuff right now. So let's go back and find some of the tin and bronze ore. Okay, here we are. I'm not being complete darkness or that monster will come and get me. Oh! Oh god, that scared that little daylight out of me. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, that made me jump so much. Okay, that scared the heck out of me. I, I, not like that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go risk and check out if I can find any of that ore over here. Hopefully I can. I have no idea how it looks. I mean, well, actually I do because... Is this the tin ore? There it is. Tin ore, awesome. Okay, so I got some tin ore now. Now I need some copper ore and I need a lot of it because I am really trying to get this. Um, is that copper ore? Yes, good thing it's easy to access by the looks of it. This is perfect. I have found all the ones I need, which is good. So, uh, hopefully I'm never get far from the lava, that would be bad. I have a ton of tin ore, and I have... Oh, it's, it's gold ore. Oh, dang it. I thought it was tin ore. I was like, oh yeah, I did it. 
Okay, um, let me head this way. There might be some more stuff over here, hopefully. Um, I do not know the level of where you have to be to actually find this stuff. But I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be that hard. It's, you know, it's for the agriculture. So, it should not be that hard. I found some peridot. Really good to have. Some peridot on you sometimes. Um, uh, see, I need some more tin ore. So, let's do that. Yeah, this is why I brought my shovel, so I can do that, because I always end up having to do it by hand, for some reason. Okay, this is iron ore, isn't it? Yep, it's iron ore. Okay, now I need to... I'll collect more of it, why not? Because it's always good to have some iron ore on you, you know, if you're gonna build an actual golem. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I did not find any copper ore here, which is... I mean, it saddens me. I couldn't find any right away, like I did with the tin ore. The tin ore was easier to find, which is good. Uh, I think maybe I might have to go deeper to get the copper ore, or I just didn't get lucky this time. So yeah, okay. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go deeper now. So wish me some luck. Where's the water? That's over there. I was like, where's the water? Why do you have to be rising right now? Oh my god. I think this is the first time the moon rises here, if I'm correct. In an episode. Um, so, basically what it, when the moon rises, it means that there's a higher chance of spawns to appear. Ow. Ow. Okay. Um, higher spawn rates for all enemies in the top. So, now this is... Good and bad, depending on what kind of... Okay, I just like saw a little flare right there. Uh, it's both good and bad. Uh, just in case you wanna, I don't know, hunt animals. Like monsters and stuff. Maybe I'll go hunt some spiders. Why is this so difficult for me? This is... Should that be this hard? <laughs> I'm trying to get to the top so I can make some more water accessible to me. In order to actually go down and dive deeper into the abyss that I found here. Now, at the same time, I'm trying to be careful that I don't accidentally summon the Gru while I'm trying to get up here. So, yeah, that's another reason why. Okay, uh, now I can start with that. Please be copper ore. Where is it at? It's more gold ore? Are you kidding me? It's the first time I found gold ore in like any episode or whenever I'm not, you know, making videos. Literally, the only times I find it. Let's take a look at the uh, bronze ore a bit more. So the bronze or the copper ore looks like this. It kind of looks like a little bit like, kind of looks a little bit like iron ore. I have tin ore, which is good. I have that way I can make some tin. Ten ingredients, I can make some cans, I can make some stuff. Greenhouse dryer, okay, so yeah. There's a ton of stuff I can make in this mod pack. Uh, blazing electron cube. Oh, anyways, okay, back to the bronze. I need some more copper. One, so yeah. Okay, I found something. Oh, hey, wait a minute, did I really find a mine shaft? Yep, yeah, yeah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I found the mine shaft, guys, and it's an interesting one. I'm gonna try to head up the way I actually intended to go, which was like this. I just started hearing stuff, I'm like, uh, am I near something? And on the trail, here I am. Finally, I found some lapis lazuli. I, I know this is not what I'm looking for, but at least I can chat my stuff now, which is really cool. Nice, heck yeah, I'm, I'm getting it now. Oh, this is the, I'm gonna put the thing there. Um, I'm gonna close this off with this, because I don't want to fall in there accidentally, and then I'll know my way around. Oh, you know what's also good? Getting these, because now I have some, oh my god, my bag is full. Uh, of just, most of it is just this, 
this, this, this, that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, now I can organize myself and see what I have. I found a lot of diamonds, which is really cool. I still haven't found what I was looking for though, and I am basically no progress is what it means. Hello, bat. I'm so afraid of these things because anything can pop out. I found some more tin ore, but I'm not looking for tin ore. I'm looking for copper ore. Why is it so hard to find? I just want some copper ore. I'm, I'm gonna get as much tin ore as possible too because it looks like it's very important. No. Alright, it looks like there's a storm about to happen here where I am in IRL. It was just interesting. Because I haven't had these in a while. Okay, okay. I, I have to literally be careful. Because there's the group can pop out anywhere. And I mean anywhere. Is this it? Please tell me. No, it's not. Okay. Chest here. Who is steadfast drone? I can find this stuff here too. What the heck? A broken shovel. Uh, enchanted book. Uh, I have these. I can get some of these. Why not? Um, I'll leave some of this stuff in here though. I don't need a, not all this stuff. Um, I need this. I don't know why I brought my stone axes. Um, I have rails already, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I am worried about the lighting here though. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm, not, I'm just literally just like looking around, making sure I don't have any enemies around me. They can torture me. Oh, hey buddy, what's up? Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm still looking for copper ore. Which is, I mean, come on. I have a bunch of tin ore, but not one single copper ore, which is crazy. Okay. Is that it? No. Uh, still the same thing. Hey, well, since I'm running low on torches, I guess I can get some of these. And I'm gonna put this in there. Look around. If there's any. They attack me. Wait, is that is that is that what I think it is? Come on, please tell me that's the ore. Please, that'll be so fantastic. Ah, oh. more gold ore. Okay, well, I'll make a little slice here. More lap. Whoa! Oh, oh, that scared the flipping heck out of me. And that's why you want to go where you stand. So I'm going to go quickly make a little crafting station over here. Because I need some stuff. Okay, so I've made a little crafting station here. I'm going to remove these. They're in the way, actually. And then I'm just going to throw them away for now. Close that. Okay, and now I'm going to... I'm going to make more torches. I... That is a big storm. <laughs> Alright, um, right, guys, I'll see you guys later because the storm is really, really loud. So, I'm going to end the video right here. But I will resume it in the editor. So, it's like, I never left. Just wanted to let you guys know. Alright, guys, great news. I believe I just found copper ore. Like, I've been finding it for so long. I'm trying to find it. I mean, look, I have 33 different ores. And I believe I have now found it. This copper ore. Heck, yeah. Alright, I only got three, but that is good because there should be more in the area, right? There's still a thunderstorm out here, but I found copper ore and I was like, well, I gotta report it, right? So, 
Here I am on the cave now. Okay, hopefully I can find some here and hopefully easier. So it looks like the and oh god, I'm out of torches. Yes I am. But thankfully I can actually craft some. Alright. That works out for me by a long shot. Okay, so they were so hard to find, I'm not even gonna lie, it just took me so long to find three pieces, three, let me rephrase, three pieces of copper just so I can make it, ah, oh, ah, oh, creepy little guy. Oh god, that scares me every time, that explosion, oh my god. Creepy little dude, oh my god. Or tin there. I'm not looking for tin. I'm looking for copper. I know how copper looks now, and I'm out of this again. So I need to make some more. Now, if you're wondering where I got the wood, I got it from the mine because there's so much mine. I mean, so much wood there. I literally just started getting more and more of it just so I can get more torches. So now I have a bunch of torches now. Thanks, God. Okay. Um, I don't like that, that noise right there. I don't know if I have the table, I might need it. Might. I'm not saying I'm gonna need it. Ah, uh, hey dude, what's up? Yes, I found some more! I still need to protect myself from, like, the shadows though. Because these things pop out of nowhere. I can't tell you how many times I've had a creeper pop up on me. Yo, look at that! I got a name tag. Some more of these, a stitch bastro, more of these, another broken shovel. Um, mm, I can put away some of these, I mean, some, I mean, all of them. Uh, I got some more beetroot seeds, which are really cool. Um, but I found more of this beauty right here. Oh god, they are so loud. Heck yeah. Don't tell me yeah, it's down there. It is down there. Dang it, I'm gonna have to go down there now. So I need to make a way down there where it doesn't kill me. Because my ore is down there and I need to get it. Hey there. Hey there, buddy. There we go. Okay, you are creepy as heck. I just need my ore, please, thank you. Okay. This is such a big and vast place. It's like super, super scary for me. And it creeps me out. Um, there's a creeper right there. You see that? Okay, first one I ever get, which is awesome. Continue this way. It seems like it's in this general area that they like to be the ores. Um, well, yeah, the ores. Uh, I'm having more luck than I had, so that's good. I just saw you. Why did I just see you? Okay, you're gonna die today, buddy. What the heck? There's nothing on you and your boy. Okay. Anyways, I am gonna do my best to stick to the general area that I found the or this area right here. Uh, um, it's gonna be hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like okay. I thought I heard something back here or something. Is this it? Some more of it? No, it isn't. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, is that it? No. Okay, I'm gonna run back over here and actually go back up here. So now this is where I found it in this area here. So, let's stick to this area right here. This level. Oh, hey there, little bat. 
I just freaking find more. I'm looking for more and more. Give me more. Yes! I I guess I just I was too deep into the ground to actually find any. Nope, not gonna have that. Let's see, I got twelve. Awesome, awesome. Really good. I guess I have to be in the higher levels. I mean, they're easier to find now. Actually, it was just good. Sword it. Where's the spider? I know I heard a spider. You guys hear it too. It's like right around the corner too. Oh look at that. Got some more. Um any more of these just in case. There we go. Oh, that's why I found a nest of them. Which is cool and all. And now I have a nice source of Oh you dang thing no. Okay, this was a bad idea to do. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, okay, I need to eat now. I thought they were the big spiders, but I forgot these is a cave, so they're gonna be technically cave spiders. I need to watch out, I don't know. My view is like, I'm not even gonna try to move, because not being attacked right now so that's a good thing. I found some more ore though. And more ore. Oh heck, oh my god, I keep hearing more of them. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Are there some more spiders somewhere? There has to be more spawners somewhere. Oh thankfully I have uh, bread and all that stuff. Some more, awesome. Oh, they, that sound is so creepy. Oh my god, it's honestly one of the creepiest sounds in Minecraft. Okay, so I found more here. Which is good for me, because now I have 19 out of 3410. See, like, I think it's because I was deep underground that I couldn't find them so it's a good thing I went back I was while I was mining I kept on going higher and higher and they're even way easier to find now which is awesome okay so now uh, I, I there's a bunch of string here I mean how could I pass this? I don't know how many string I'll need in this playthrough but if I can get a lot I won't be needing to go out and find them. I hate these things uh, they look nice enough but they get in the way sometimes okay let me get all this oh look shoot I didn't see that okay uh, so I have 23 copper it's awesome that is awesome. Okay, now let's look for. I wonder if that's it. I I, I want to make sure that is what I'll need, just in general, because I don't want to go back and be like, oh wait, I need I need more, you know. Um, so I'll make sure I get a good amount of it. Hello, damn, dang creeper. I keep hearing more of these spiders. Ok, 
Yeah, these spiders are like everywhere is what it sounds like. Got more of copper ore, awesome. Uh, let me get my other ones. Okay, good. Now let me get this one over here. Where is it at? Right here. Get that. And I can get out of here now. I have 26, so I don't know how much I'll need, but I know there's a lot of stuff that needs the copper. So, okay then. Alright, so I think I'll end the exploration here. Not the video, but because I still got a lot to do. Um, but I am actually going to pinpoint this area, and when I pinpoint it, it'll be good for me because then I can just continue searching for copper ore if I need any of it in the future. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a nice safe area with a good amount of lighting. So like right here is a good place. So let's uh, pinpoint and copper mine fields mining this nice color here now let's quickly go back home okay and let's actually oh look at that I don't know what was in there but uh I need to make another furnace like this is insane how much okay so I'll put that in there and I'll put the copper ore on here and I'll put the and I'll put the tin ore on here and I need to put a lot of this stuff in this place right here um, um, so let me get all my stuff that I got from this chest so let me get every single bit of it oh it all fit in and I can't fit that in but I'll be back for you no oh look there is a armory I can make from this woven silk how do you make that though um how do you make that the armory sleeve, how do you make armories? How do you get the end? Oh goodness, so many questions. It's giving me a headache. Uh, okay, there's so much in this mod pack that I put in here. I mean, it's gonna be great, don't get me wrong. It's gonna be so much fun trying to figure out all these things, but. Some of these don't even have recipes, is what I'm saying. It's gonna be kinda hard to figure out where, how, or you know, what to do with them. But, let's see what I do. So, I do wanna make the bone thing right now, so. Dang it, I mean, yeah. So, let's set items, input dragon. And there you go, dragon's bone, so, like that, okay. One here, this here, and then that. There we go. And now I how do you make the actual arrows? Uh, winter bone shards, three events, and that. Any feathers? Do I have any, even the, even the half feathers? Like I do. Okay, cool. There we go, so let's put one in there and make these shards. So now I just put this in there, that right there, and that right there. Is that trying to make it? Awesome, I have 10 of them now. Which is awesome. Really cool, really cool. Uh, I can put these in there. I need more wither bones, which sucks, because that means I gotta go to the nether. But the good thing is, I have fire resistance on me now, which is good. Um, Okay, I need to cook some of this other stuff that I have. Alright guys, well this was an interesting episode, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it was very um, interesting because I found the mine when I was trying to find copper. I couldn't find copper. I found a ton of tin, but not a lot of copper. You need more copper than tin. So it's like, oh. Alright, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Minecraft Modern Adventure. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!